Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video I'm gonna show you how to create this in After Effects. Let's start. Okay guys, welcome back and I will add the link for vectors in my description below. Okay, now first let's give animation to our background. Let's select these layers and hide. Let's select this background first. Let's press P and go to first second and make a position keyframe. And go to first second. Let's move it to down. And now let's select the keyframes, make them easy. And select the keyframes, go to graph editor. And let's change it like this to make it smooth. Let's see. Okay, now let's unhide these backpack layers. Let's select them and unhide. Nice. Now let's select the backpack shadow. It's linked to backpack 1. And backpack 2 linked to backpack 1. And let's go to FX presets. Search for fill. And let's double click it. And change the color. Let's press here and make it more dark. Okay, this is good. And now let's select backpack 1, go to here and make position keyframe and go to here, let's move it to down. And now go to the center and let's move it to up. Let's select the keyframes, make them easy. And now go to graph editor, let's select here and move this one to left and this one to right. Let's see. Nice. And now hold shift and press R to make rotation keyframe as well. Let's go to here and change it like this. And go to here. Let's make it like this. And go to here. Let's make it zero. And now select the keyframes, make them easy easy again. Let's see. Let's hide the backpack shadow. Let's move these keyframes to the right. Or let's move to here. And also let's change the scale. Hold shift and press S. Let's make it a little bit like this. Let's actually delete this keyframe. And this one move to here. And let's see now. Nice. And select the position keyframes. Let's move it to like this and go to first keyframe, let's move it to the down, let's see, nice, and now let's unhide these layers, and select this backpack too, let's move it to the up, okay nice, and now let's give animation to these layers, let's first select the first one, and go to here, press P, make position keyframe, let's move it to the down, and go 10 keyframe, let's move it like this, and go one more time 10 keyframe, let's move it to the inside. And now select the keyframes, make them easy, and then go to keyframe interpolation, let's change it to continuous bezier. And change this one like this, to make it smooth. Let's see. Okay, it's a little bit fast. Let's select the keyframes and hold Alt, move to right. But as you can see, there is some problem. Let's select the keyframe, go to graph editor and change it like this. Let's see now. Okay, nice. And now select the layer 2, press P. Go to here. Make position keyframe and move to like this. And go 10 keyframe. Let's move to up. And go one more time 10 keyframe. Let's move to inside. And select the keyframes, make them easy. And hold Alt, move to right. And go to keyframe interpolation, change it to continuous busy as well. Let's make it like this. 
Nice, select the middle keyframe, go to graph editor and make the keyframe like this. Let's see. Nice. Now let's do the same for all the layers. Okay guys, it's all done. Now let's check it. Okay, it's a little bit slower, so let's move the keyframes to the left to make it fast. Let's see now. And now let's create a new object. And let's move it to here and double click here to move the anchor point to the center. And let's select this backpack one and link to this null. Let's select this null and go to here and press S, make scaled keyframe. Let's move five keyframe one, two, three, four, five and change it 110 and go 5 keyframe again change it to 100 and now let's copy it and paste and select the keyframes let's make it easiest let's see and let's copy again let's see now Nice. Let's delete these two keyframes. Let's see now. Nice. And now hold shift press P. Let's make position keyframe. And go 10 keyframe. And let's select this null. Let's move it to the left. And as you can see there is some problem. Let's go to first keyframe. And select these all layers. Let's link to backpack one. Let's see now. Okay nice. And also let's change the scale. Okay, let's make the keyframes easy. It's so fast, let's select the keyframes and hold alt move to right. And select the position keyframes, let's go to graph editor. Let's change the graph like that. Let's see now. Let's move these keyframes to here. Okay, nice, this one is good. And now let's create our text. Let's press Ctrl T or you can do it from there. Let's write a text. Back to school. And select the text. Let's change the font size. Okay, this is good. And let's change the font color. Let's make it like this, or maybe like that. Okay, this is good. And let's select this word and change it to white. And let's copy this code. And now select it. Let's change the stroke color. And let's change the stroke size to 4. Okay, this is good. And now go to the window, Animation Composer 3. I have a video how to get Animation Composer 3, you can check it in description. And now let's go to Starter Presets, Transition Text Layer, Animate Characters. And I'm gonna use this one because this is my favorite one. Let's press in and let's close it. Let's move it to the right. Let's see. As you can see there is some problem, so let's go here and select these all layers. Let's close the keyframes with pressing U and go to edit, split layer. 
select these layers let's unleak from there and now let's see Okay, nice. And now let's select our text, go to FX presets. Let's search for CC light sweep. Okay, nice. Go to here. And let's make a keyframe. Let's move it like that. And go to here. Let's change it like this. Let's see. Nice. Let's select the text layer and add it one more time. Let's press U to see keyframes. And go to here. Let's make keyframe for the second effect. And go there. Let's go to here again and change it like that. Let's see now. Okay, nice. So guys, thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe channel and leave a comment in my video. See you in the next videos.